Hi, my name is Karan. I am the founder of Optimal Access. We develop tools for managing chatbot responses. And in this presentation, I want to talk about two important principles of building great conversational chatbots. Let's take a look. Can you sing me a song from your youth? Yeah, don't you cheat. Aaron, tell us what your parents did before the war. They owned and operated a butcher shop. What's the weather like today? I'm actually recording. I cannot answer that question. The clip that we just watched is from an episode of 60 Minutes where they showed us how the Holocaust Project has created a conversational chatbot by recording Holocaust survivors and then creating an a chatbot conversation with these Holocaust survivors. We're going to now take a look at the principles that make this possible. The first principle is that machines are not humans. In order for them to communicate with humans, they need machine-readable knowledge. The way that this project was created was that Holocaust survivors recorded their experience and then the chatbot developers went in and added meta information so that the conversation can become machine readable and they can develop answers to users' questions. The second important principle is that you need to manage the context of your conversation. In the example that we just saw, the context is the person's experience through Holocaust. So every answer or every question is going to be regarding the person's Holocaust experience. And in this way, we can now build a chatbot that feels conversational and natural by limiting and managing the context of your chatbot. We offer a CMS solution for managing chatbot dialogues based on the principles that we just talked about. So let's take a look and see how you can use our CMS solution to build great conversational chatbots. Our approach to managing chatbot responses, both for context and making them machine readable, is using our Kbucket content libraries. Content libraries allow us to manage the context and also turn information into machine readable knowledge by adding meta tags to the information that you're storing in our chatbot we are, allow, we are able to create knowledge maps like the ones that you see here. And these knowledge ma maps then allow us to build great conversations very quickly and easily. We also have the ability to editorialize our tags and build new relationships very quickly using our tools. Now let's take a look at the chatbot to see how that may work. Using my knowledge graph as a guide, I can now start building intents to answer user questions. For example, an intent that answers mild symptoms and risks. I can ask my chatbot, tell me the risks with mild symptoms. And here we retrieve information on risks of mild symptoms, like warning of serious brain disorder in people with mild COVID symptoms from our chatbot, but I can have an open conversation with my chatbot. For example, tell me all you know about face masks. What is the risk of COVID with children? Using a content library, you can manage the taxonomy of the information that you want to share, meaning you can create knowledge graphs that allow you to easily answer user questions and manage the context of the conversations. If you'd like to find out more, please send me an email and I'll be more than happy to schedule a call and show you exactly how all of this works. Thank you.